Hello, Bobcats and Toros. This is Miss Gonzalez, and today we're going to be reading Figley's Search for the Perfect Pet. So let's get started on this journey. Welcome to the island of Mutasia, where everyone is mixed up of two or more different animals. Mutasia is filled with so many kooky combinations, you'd have to see it to believe it. This is Figley. He's a happy little mutation who's part possum, part cow, and part bird. Figley loves playing outside and hanging upside down with his long possum tail. So that's so awesome. He's part bird, part cow, and part possum. I can't wait to see what other combinations of animals there are in the book. Figley lives high up in the trees of the Mutasian jungle in a place called the Tree Village. He lives there with his friends, Sabita and Chadwick. They're mixed up of different kinds of animals too. Zabita is extremely adventurous and she loves swinging on vines and leaping through the trees with her big duck feet. Chadwick is part elephant, so he never forgets. He's super duper smart and is always inventing goofy gadgets out of things that he finds in the jungle. So I love that Zabita is always swinging and having a good time in the jungle. And Chadwick is super smart. He likes to build things and put things together. Today, they're setting out for the city of Metropolis to visit their friends, Julio Habanero and Billy Penicorn. Ooh, it looks like they're going on an adventure and I can't wait to find out more about it. Figley loves to visit the big city. It's so different from life in the jungle and his friends there are so cool. Ooh, I see his friends. Ooh, it looks like the penguin is mixed with maybe cheetah, leopard, and narwhal. And what do you think this friend is made with? Yeah, I see crab claws or lobster claws one or the other. And then maybe he's a lizard? I can't wait to find out. The best part about visiting them is listening to their awesome band perform in Billy's living room. Julio uses his crab claws to rock out on the guitar while Billy sings as loud as her little penguin beak will allow. Figley noticed that Billy looked unhappy today and he asked her why. She explained that she was bored with her pet, Pugapillar. Carl. Pugapillars are half pug and half caterpillar. They're so normal and boring. Billy wants a pet that's cool and exotic like her. Figley told Billy that living in the jungle made him an expert in exotic pets. He'd be happy to find her a new one. Yes, please, she squealed. Then let's begin, yelled Figley. Let's find you your perfect pet. Ooh, so it looks like the journey's gonna start. After a short time away, Figley burst through the door with the honking squonk. A squonk is part squid, so it has many long tentacles. Figley thought those tentacles would make a perfect addition to Billy's band, so it could play lots of instruments all at once. Ooh, that would be really cool to see. But the squonk is also part donkey, so it's very, very stubborn. It's only, it only plays its favorite type of music, postmodern bluegrass disco. Billy and Julio do not like postmodern bluegrass disco music. So she asks Figley to find her a new pet. Well, he's not going to be part of the crew. Hey, but at least he can play a lot of instruments at once. Next, Figley brought an adorable pudgy. Pudgies are part parakeet, so they have a beautiful singing voice but they're also part pufferfish and will puff up and float away. Billy screamed, Eek, I'm afraid of heights. Please find me a different pet. So it looks like the pudgy's not gonna be part of the crew either. Figley next suggested a meowser. A meowser is a cat mixed with a lizard. So instead of coughing up hairballs, it coughs up scale balls. Gross. The doll Phony had a beautiful mane for Billy to brush and style, so it had all this beautiful hair. But sadly, this dolphin pony mix was very snobby. 
It did not like any of the hairstyles she created. So Billy asked for a pet that's more fun. A mingo is fun. It has the long neck of a flamingo and the size of an elephant, making it a super cool playground for everyone to play on. But it's also part goldfish and needs a lot of water. It takes up the whole bathtub. So it looks like the mingo is not going to be part of the crew either. A flickatee has the friendly front of a manatee, but its back half glows in the dark like a firefly, keeping Billy up all night long so he doesn't let her sleep. The puffaliger seemed like a great choice because it scared away the neighborhood bullies, but sadly, it scared away her friends too. So it looks like the puffaliger and the flickety are also not part of the crew. The written is part walrus, so it had to live in her ice cold freezer. That was okay until it ate all of the ice cream. Oh no, it ate all of Billy's ice cream. Not nice. The snog is also part snail. Taking it on its walks was miserable. It's so slow and leaves a gross, slimy trail. The McLawin swordfish nose destroyed her pillows and popped her antique balloon collection. Oh, so this was not a good choice. The Mookli built nests on her furniture and knocked over the vases with its antlers. Looks like he's not gonna be part of the crew either. As far as for the Pygmalion, well, she couldn't even find it. Looks like the Pygmalion just camouflaged. No wonder he's so hard to look for. Nibs were a horrible idea from the start. They're part mouse and have huge sharp piranha teeth for eating your toys. They have eight creepy spider legs and spin icky sticky webs. Billy didn't like anything about the Nibs. Figly was running out of ideas. I wouldn't want Nibs as a pet either. They would destroy your toys. Tuna Roo, Skunkatoo, Hissy Poo, Crocodile Doo. No, no thanks, no way, nope. Billy started thinking maybe the perfect pet doesn't need to do anything fancy like fly, play an instrument, or glow in the dark. Maybe she just needs a pet that's part loyal and part loving. Something that always stays out of trouble, mixed with something that's cute and cuddly. Billy left up in the air and shouted, That's it. I know exactly what your perfect pet is. It was Carl, her pug pillar Yippee! Billy cheered. Figley told Billy that sometimes the things you really need are right in front of you the whole time. You just don't realize it until they're gone. Billy nodded as she looked around the goofy critters in her house. What are you going to do with them all? she asked. Figley gathered up the pets and marched them off into the sunset. As they disappeared beyond the horizon, he proclaimed, I'm going to find them their perfect owners. The end. All right, Bobcats and Toros, we just went on a great journey to find the perfect pet. And share with me your favorite part. My favorite part was the very end when all the pets went to go look for their owners on their own journey. Until next time. Bye.